subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates hello friends welcome to my channel today i am going to show you the cheapest ryzen 5 pc build here i have taken ryzen 5 md processor here you can see it's 3.2 gigahertz base and 3.6 gigahertz when you are boosting its speed and this processor has 6 CPUs and 12 threads I am taking this PC for video editing so for video editing purpose this processor is quite capable I don't need more than this processor at a buzz in a budget computer so that's it and this processor does not comes with a built-in GPU so this is an APU so to compensate this you must have to buy a graphics card so I have gone for the gigabyte 17 uh, as my motto is not gaming 17 is a good option for me but if you are up to gaming you can go for 1050 but please remember this Ryzen 5 1600 processor price is 11,500 on the other hand a 1050 graphics card cost about 12,500 it's up to your budget but my budget is very tight that's why I have just taken a graphics card that is mandatory to run this processor so this is the minimum graphics card requirement and you can also go for one gigabyte version but one gigabyte price is 2400 and you can get two gigabyte version for 2850 rupees so obviously you should go for two two gb's or with this two gb's you can actually play I think almost all popular games will run with this graphics card but in that case you have to uh, lower the frame rate but still you can play the games this is the cheapest budget graphics card available in the market and then this is the cheapest motherboard that would support this processor this is gigabyte a32m s2s uh, you can also go for 350 350 supports clock is um, clock speed twinning a 13 dream also supports clock speed twinning but in that case you have to update the BIOS version I don't recommend this because 3.2 gigahertz basic speed is lightning fast you don't need to go for the 3.6 gigahertz uh, it supports up to 32 gigabyte up to memory so new issues with that here you can see the features and a higher price motherboard won't perform better than this because all motherboards task is to link between the hardwares not more than that but if you are up to clock speed twinning then you can go for 350 it's up to you this 320 motherboard price is 3800 rupees and i have taken this corsair ddr4 this rgb ram this rgb ram price was i think 3650 and this price was the graphics card price was 20 uh, 2850 this was 11500 the processor and i have taken another uh, wi-fi adapter that was a hard disk which i have already um, attached to the cpu the hard disk price was 2700 for one terabyte of normal hard disk not ssd you can also buy ssd with uh, 2500 you will get 240 gigabyte of ssd but uh, I have a plan. I have planned to get a SSD later. Right now, I am on a tight buzzer, so uh, including everything and uh, the casing. The casing uh, was with SMPS, and with SMPS, the casing price was 1,500, and the total PC build costs me. So I am sharing my configuration here with you. If you are going to buy a PC, you can consider this setup and if you think that i need to change something please mention it in the comment section thanks for watching i hope you find this video helpful have a great day and please subscribe to my channel for future updates and the price breakdown is given in the description